What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Swift video. In today's video, we're gonna be learning about computer vision in your iOS app and specifically how to recognize text in an image. So here's an image I just grabbed of a subway station in uh, New York. So it's 42nd Street and Bryant Park station. So here is the image and right below it, you'll see a piece of text um, that it's uh, extracting out of that image, running it through Apple's vision framework. So you see here that it's DE instead of a DF from the image. So it's not the most accurate, but it's pretty interesting to figure out how this stuff works. So we'll take a brief look at it and uh, talk about some use cases for your guys' uh, own apps. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you start by absolutely destroying that like button down below. It helps out quite a bit. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Definitely hit subscribe to stick around for iOS videos. That all said, let's get into some computer vision on iOS. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started by opening up Xcode and creating a new project. We're gonna stick with the app template under iOS. Let's go ahead and give this project a name of text recognition. Make sure your language of course is Swift, your interface is Storyboard and Lifecycle UI kits. We're gonna be working programmatically, just no Swift UI today. Go ahead and create it and save the project wherever you'd like. And first things first, we're gonna pick our trusty 12 Pro Max simulator. We'll go ahead and hit the run button to build and run. Hopefully have it showing up, there it is. And we're also gonna bring in some images uh, to use as you know uh, examples into our project. So I've got three images here of a screenshot, a subway sign and a stop sign. So let's go into our image uh, assets here and we're gonna create uh, example one image set, example two and another example three. So example one, we're gonna go ahead and drag in this first one here. Uh, the order really doesn't matter. Feel free to screenshot something um, anywhere online to you know, make this work and play around with it. Example two, and finally the stop sign as uh, example three, if I can get my mouse to cooperate, there we go. Awesome, so now that we've done that, we can expand our window here. We can go ahead and jump into our view controller and start writing some computer vision code. So computer vision stuff is cleanly packaged into a framework provided by Apple called uh, Vision, super creative, A plus Apple. And we're gonna start by importing that. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a function. And this function is going to be uh, called recog recognize text. And we're gonna go ahead and pass in, let's say a UI image uh, optional. And let's go ahead and write out the actual text recognition part of this first and foremost, and then we'll hook up a, a UI to actually, you know, print out, you know, what the recognized text is. So uh, it's really simple. The first thing we want to do here is get the CG image version of this UI image. So I'm going to say guard let CG image is image dot CG image. And, you know, if we can't get a CG image from it or the image is nil, we're going to go ahead and return. So then what we wanna do, and let me write it out in steps, we wanna first create a handler, we wanna create a request, and then we wanna process the request. So these are the three steps that we need to do to recognize text. So let's create a handler here. This is first and foremost going to be a VN uh, image request handler. And you can create this with a uh, CG image, which we've unwrapped right up above. And we're not gonna give it uh, any options today. Once you've done that, we can go ahead and create a request, which is going to be a VN uh, text recognition request. Let's see, so there is a request. Um, there's a one for detecting te text itself, and then there's one for uh, um, images and like other stuff too that you could do, like detecting faces and whatnot. We're not gonna do that today. We're just gonna stick with uh, detecting text and figuring out what it is. Uh, and this takes one parameter, which is a completion handler. And the completion handler has a request and a uh, optional error that comes in. And we wanna get the text out of the result here and we'll do that in a moment. Uh, but we do want to go ahead and perform this request in a do catch block because we need to uh, try to perform this request on the handler. And the reason being is uh, it can throw an exception. So we just wanna make sure that uh, we do it uh, in a do catch, let's see why this is yelling at me. See, because here we should use CG image instead of just image. And now this autocomplete should ho hopefully cooperate. We can perform an array of multiple requests. So we're just going to pass in one request. 
And if uh, an error is thrown, we're just going to go ahead and print it out. So cool. So now in here, in the completion of this request, what we want to go ahead and do is first um, get the actual observed information out of the request. So we're going to say observations is request.results. And we're also going to cast it as VN recognized uh, text observation. All right. And we also probably want the error to be nil. So let's go ahead and be good citizens and make sure the error is nil as well. Now, these observations uh, come back as this type. So we want to get the string from this observation um, object. And a text recognition request can, in fact, uh, give you back multiple strings. So if we take um, one of these pictures as an example, if I grab the subway sign, you'll notice that there are multiple pieces of text here. So what Vision tries to do is it tries to segment it out, and it'll give it back to you in multiple observations. And what we're going to do today is we're going to take all of those and join them together with a comma. So what I can go ahead and do is say text is going to be the observations, and we're going to compact map it. And the first thing we're going to do is get the top candidate out of it. And we're going to get the first candidate. And that itself gives you an array. So we'll get the first thing off of that. And then there is a string property off of that. And if you look at the description, it's the top candidate for recognized text. So there is our, uh, this. so text is now an array of uh, basically strings because we're compact mapping. So at the end here, we're gonna say joined and we can go ahead and just join it like that or we can join it with a separator of a comma. So let's use a comma just like that. And the last thing you probably wanna do is assign all this stuff to uh, you know some type of label. So let's go ahead and create a label up here. So we're gonna say let uh, label is going to be a UI label, just like that, label, label. We're gonna return it, uh, just creating it in a pretty standard uh, anonymous closure pattern here. Let's go ahead and uh, assign this to be centered so it's nice and big. We wanna go ahead and also add this as a sub view. And let's see, let's go ahead and now say, uh, self optional dot label dot text is going to be text self optional so we don't cause a retain cycle and because we're going to stick weak self right here. And let's see, this is a UI operation and we're in a closure on a background thread, so we want to make sure we dispatch to the main thread. And let's see, we should probably give the label a frame too, and it would be kind of nice to see the image above, uh, you know, the label of whatever we're recognizing. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a image view. So we'll say UI image view, image view. Let's go ahead and just rename this stuff to image view. And let's go ahead and assign an image to it. And whatever image is assigned to this, we'll go ahead and use that as uh, the input for the recognition. So let's just start off with example one and we'll run through all of them um, just to see the results and like how accurate it is and all that good stuff. So. Let me also give it a content mode of scale aspect. Uh, let's go with fit, why not? And we should probably also add this as a sub view. So let's do image view. And it would be nice to give it a frame so we can actually see it, slightly important. So we're gonna override view, did a layout sub views. And let's start by giving the image view a frame of, uh, let's see, X is 20, we'll say uh, view, safe area insets.top, the width we can say is the entire width subtracting 40. And we can probably do the same thing for the height. So it's a nice uh, square. And let's do the label right below it. I'll say label.frame is a CG rect as well, 20. And this will, I guess, be the uh, safe area insets plus the height of the image. Let's just go ahead and make the height of this 200. We'll say this is a view frame size width minus 40. And let's see, in terms of the Y position, we'll take the width. I'll go ahead and add the view safe area insets top. So I went through that framing pretty fast. So hopefully that makes sense. And hopefully I'm correct in all my calculations. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and give this a run to make sure we can actually see something on our UI. So we're gonna go ahead and hit run. Everyone cross your fingers. All right, there's the first image. I just took a screenshot of the uh, Apple documentation. So 
Um, this recognition should be very accurate because there's no noise in the picture. So right at the bottom of view did load, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is we are going to say uh, recognize text and we're gonna pass in image view dot image. And we should see whatever text is in that image print out right below it momentarily. Maybe, 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 let's see. Not seeing it, interesting. So let's see what's going on. So let's see if we have an error. First and foremost, I don't think we should. Don't see an error here. So we do see an error. I don't know if it's a related error. So let me go ahead and give the label a background color just to make sure we can see where it is. All right, we're also gonna give it a starting text of um, starting. Let's go ahead and give that a run one more time. All right, so there is our actual uh, label. So the label's definitely there. So let's see what I screwed up. So we run this and let's see, we're printing out the error down here. So let's print out, um, let me put this instead of in here. Let's go ahead and say label.text is gonna be the error. That way we can actually see what the relevant error is if it occurs which it looks like it's not occurring. So something's wrong. So let's see what's going on. So we go ahead and create a CG image from this. And let's make sure that uh, we actually are passing this. And let's put a fatal error. Could not get CG image. Let's try that one more time. All right, so we're definitely passing that. We're not crashing there, which is good. Um, we might be crashing here. So observations is request.result as VN recognize text observation. Um, and we're also getting an error nil. So let's see, we're gonna say label self.label.text equals failed. You guys can see some debugging live and in action. Feel free to forward the video. Um, so let's see if we hit that. All right, so we got failed right here. So this is the problem here. So let's see if uh, we have an error. And we can also make sure uh, our, maybe our cast is incorrect. So the error is nil, which is good. So let's see what the type of our results are. That is probably the issue here. So I'm gonna print this out to actually get their type in the console here. And if we take a look at this, we are actually getting results back and they are of type, let's see, request revision. Each of these guys is a V and text observation, I see. So instead of a recognized text observation, you wanna go ahead and do that. And let's see, let's see, everything else should be working a-okay. Go ahead and delete all this. And let's see why this is yelling at me. So observation. So let's see what we need to compact map now. So we've got a confidence score on here. We've got a time range on here. So let's go ahead and click into this text observation and let's see what we're getting back from it. So this has character boxes. So let's see, we are doing a VN detect text rectangle request, duh. Okay, so this one is incorrect. So my, um, my actual uh, type that I was using here is in fact correct. The thing that we screwed up is the actual type of request. We don't actually want the rectangle. What we actually wanna go ahead and do, I'm gonna copy this whole closure. We want a actual uh, request to detect not the rectangle, but the text. So there should be a uh, recognize text uh, request in here somewhere. Uh, this one right here, beautiful. And go ahead and paste in that completion handler. Again, it should be identical. And finally, let's give it a run and everybody hold their breath. And let's see, where's our image? Where's our image? All right, cool. So there is our image and there is our text. Looking pretty good. Um, so let's go ahead and now give it a different image to make sure nothing else is broken. So let me also get rid of the background color and let's change this to be example two. But actually before I do that, if you take a look at the text here, you'll see that it's really accurate. So first of all, I got overview as a separate piece of uh, text and you can tell by the comma because we're combining it with commas. And you know it's expected to be fairly accurate, right? Like this is a screenshot. I would be pretty shocked if the accuracy of this text recognition was bad. Uh, but let's try something a little more you know, realistic like a subway sign. 
So here is uh, the second example, which is a subway sign, and it pulls out 42, um, 42nd Street, Bryant Park Station, BDEM7. So let's see. So it got the top part right. Um, it didn't get the F right. So it should be BDFM7, and it looks like it combined the M7 and the DE. Um, so not the most accurate, but for the most part, pretty good. So if you wanted to build an app with like a camera to like take a picture and you know, maybe translate it or do something like that. Um, this is a fairly accurate uh, way to do it. Let's go ahead and do example three and let's see uh, what that gives us. So this should be fairly easy too. It's a stop sign. Shocker, it's very correct. Um, I think stop signs are also made like that on purpose. Um, I don't know why it got, gave us an I at the end there. I suspect it might be using the edge of the stop sign um, and in, interpreting that as like a character, um, but Anyways, I, I digress. Fairly simple to put this together. Um, to review, we go ahead and create a CG image. Um, from our image, we create a handler. We go ahead and create a request. And what's pretty important is there are different kinds of requests. And you saw myself, I screwed it up and used the wrong one. So just be careful which one you use and you can play around with the other ones that they offer as well. The completion handler here, we get the results, validate error is nil convert the observations to a single piece of text. And then down here, of course, we actually um, perform the request on the handler. And this uh, is intentional to take an array because you can perform um, the request uh, in, in batch style. So you don't have to do it over and over. You can just do it one shot. Um, but of course, keep in mind, the more requests you pass in, uh, the longer it might take. In this case, it's pretty fast because you know the images are there already and it's not particularly complicated. So um, that's all I've got for you guys for this one. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, definitely drop a like down below. Leave any comments. Uh, do you guys enjoy these like ML kind of focused videos? Um, I want to do one on natural language uh, as well for voice input. Um, and definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already for daily Swift and iOS videos. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.